Hello everybody! And welcome to Yakuza Infinite Money. AKA 8 because the infinity symbol. So, I have been excited for this game for a long time. Since I originally beat, you know, the original Yakuza like a dragon. I kept myself as blind as possible to this game as possible. Because I want to stay as blind, you know, stay as blind as Because I want to enjoy this game the fullest without any hint of what's in this game. Alright, first things first, let's go to this. Oh, graphic settings, let's see what we got. Advanced. Let's high everything. What could go wrong? AMD, I don't use AMD. Not touching you. I have not messing with that. Okay. I do chorus. Oh wait, I could just do that? Oh, that's way better. Alright, there we go. That's the that one. Alright. I'm excited to play this game. I'm hoping I enjoy it to what it is supposed to be. All I know from this game is I've seen and heard some of the new voice actor from Curious, the English voice actor, do not like it. Wish the brought back the guy from Like a Dragon. Who, fun fact, did the voice of Kiryu in the English version of the Kuza for the PS2. Really cool they brought him back. But yeah, I'm. Not much else for me to say, except I'm so excited to play this, so let's just jump into it. Right there. Oh, I hope I love this game. Let's begin, shall we? Oh, the game's a work of fiction. Damn it, I thought everything actually happened. Well, here we go. Loading is the same. Find the road now. There are dogs on the loose around here. We're out here awfully late. True, but I'd say the meeting was worth it. With all the homeless around these days, there's no shortage of mouths to feed. And tonight marks a big step forward in solving that. I suppose you're right. But dear, I did want to talk about Bryce. <laughs> What happened? Someone's out there. No! Well, that's a start. That's an American. Time for your reward. <gasps> wow. A backstabber on a murderer. Would never seen that coming. Or a hitman. Also, his face looked familiar, the guy underneath the umbrella, but didn't really get a good look at it. But he had long hair. Interesting. I wonder. I have no idea who it is. I'm just mumbling out loud. I think we're on a leaf. Yep, that's a leaf. So that's a keyboard, so we must be inside. Hey! 
Just how long is this gonna take? Oh, hello, Lurk. I've been here before. A lot of times. Oh, I'll be done any second. Just need to give this a once-over... Wait a second. That voice. And that should do it. <laughs> Your resume's in good hands, Sasaki-san. <clears throat> my name is Ichiban Kasuga, and finding you work is my work. Now, let's get you something good. Oh my god, Ichiban Kasuga is a hello work contractor. <laughs> yeah, let's. <laughs> Big celebrity ought to have big connections. I wouldn't say that. I really no big deal. I love how every pro a protagonist from a Yakuza game is like major Yakuza guy. So, what kind of work? And Kazuka goes as a hello work contractor. Well, before that, Sasaki-san, it says here you work for Moroi Industries. Yeah, that's what it says on the paper. To my knowledge, Moroi Industries is a front company that processes waste for a syndicate called the Hiwatashi Clan. All their employees are Yakuza. Hey, you know your stuff. It also says here that you were let go from your position there. If I'm not mistaken, this is because the business shut down after the Hiwatashi Clan disbanded last month? Is that correct? <sighs> yeah, what about it? And taking into account that you worked at Maroi Industries and the fact that you have quite an intricate tattoo, can I assume that you're an ex Yakuza who just recently got out of the trade? You're telling me that matters? You'll need to indicate that on your resume. Listen, buddy, what I did or didn't do before coming here is my own business. At the very least, it's information your employer deserves to know. <sighs> Come on, how about you drop the silly little act already, eh, Kasuga-san? You think I haven't heard the rumors? Rumors? About what? About you finding good work for ex-Yakuza, like me. Those rumors. People from all over have been calling you a savior. Afraid I don't know what you mean. I'm just a regular guy at a regular job. I thought I told you to cut the crap. I don't have time for games here. All right, then. Let's start by rewriting your resume. Do you have any special qualifications you can list? Uh, they'll help you cast a wider net when- What I say? Knock that humble servant shit off! I think you should listen to- If I can ask you to please keep your voice down, loud noises might be disturbing to the other customers. <laughs> Sasaki-san. Our job is to find the ideal match for both our customers and our business partners. However, with your behavior today, I doubt you'll be getting a job anytime soon. You may have left the Yakuza, but it hasn't left you. I have no jobs to offer you at this time. I'll have to ask you to leave. You bastard! Hmm. <sighs> You got more to say. Damn it! Some help you turned out to be. Waste of my goddamn time! He walks out like he's taking a dump. Apologies for the disturbance, everyone. We should be okay now. Next customer, please come to counter four. Go. Oh, uh, thanks. I love how he got a job at the place that helped him kind of the most in the Like a Dragon series uh, game. Is he thinking about the first time he walked through that door with Namba? He looks sad. <sighs> nice work today, Kasuga-san. Uh, you okay after all that? Oh, yeah. It was no sweat. Didn't mean to make a scene. Sorry about that. Oh, not at all. I just feel bad you have to put up with all that. Sorry to place it on you. Ah, it's all good. Really, I'm just happy I can make myself useful. It's the least I can do. Especially after you guys bothered to take me in. Wow. You really are the hero of Yokohama. We're glad to have you around. 
Come on, you don't have to call me that. Why not? You exposed the crimes of both the governor and the police department. You're a man of the people. No, oh, that's really too much. Besides, that was a while ago. Well, we're proud just to share a workplace with you. You ought to be proud of yourself too, Kasukasa. <laughs> hey, I appreciate the kind words. Anyway, I'm heading out for the day. I'll see you later, yeah? You can tell it's extremely hot. Must be summer, because they are sweating. Party up. Okay, I should get some grub before I head home. Either I go for a sit-down place, or play it safe and get a beef bowl. Kind of out of the way, but I should check out the restaurant Central Street. Street, Then go for a beef bowl if I ain't feeling it. Oh, this is going to be familiar territory. I just beat this game. Oh, wait. Oh! Uh, yep. Mm, that is stuff I will not be touching. God damn it, stop it. Actually, what's the menu looking like? Oh my god, I am a happy man. Look at him. It, 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 Ichi, you don't have to smile. It's actually kind of creepy for me. Please. Audio. Ah. Now let's do tone two. I want to see what tone two is like. Ichi, you are. I'm a hello worker. Hey, wait, can I. It's job. Hello worker. Let me see. Oh, okay, this is. A, it's Brawler. It's Brawler. Release German suplex. Yeah, Brawler. Oh wow, the man who had nothing. An exclusive job for Kasuga featuring a number of pro wrestling moves repurposed for street fights. Okay. And we have nothing in our inbox. And I can sprint with A. Alright, I know all about that. Oh man, that map. Wait, you could. You could buy clothes? Oh, no, never mind. It's armor. Okay. The taxi facility list. Oh, I actually know that's weapons and armor. What's that icon? And that must be my, oh, the survive bar, yes. Dragon cart was up here. The circus hanged up there. Ichiban Confections is here. And then the original version is here. Oh wait, no, here. Ichiban Confections, yep. Which I'm wondering if it is canon that Ichiban Confections is... Hey, guy. Oh my god, wow, right joystick is very sensitive. I'll keep it like that for now, but oh boy. Cold medicine. Missing it. Cures the common cold and restores 50 HP. I didn't think that was going to heal anything. I thought that... Hmm, okay. Alright. Alright, I can tell you this right now. Game looks... A lot better in the... Like a Dragon. I'm not saying Like a Dragon's ugly. But god damn, that looks so much better. And here's the thing, my computer is from... Oh, God. This computer is from 2016, 2017. I'm running a NVIDIA GTX 180. And I can still play in high graphics at the moment. At the moment. And this game looks amazing. There's games nowadays I cannot play on high. I know that. I'm dated. But this right now, with the sun and everything, oh! On top of that, everyone knows me, which is great. Burn ointment. Okay, I immediately see a difference they made with the items. So in the original, oh wait, what? I single use special items. Okay, I'm never using those. I'm immediately gonna pop them. I'm gonna ignore those for now. 
I'm gonna pop every single one of these in a chest and I'm not touching them. I want to play this as straight as possible. But let's ignore all this, shall we? I'm looking at these. So, like a dragon, burn ointment would just heal your burn. Same with cold medicine, we'll just remove cold. Now they actually heal you. Either this game's gonna be harder, or they're making these more useful, because I wouldn't even bother trying to heal these, like burn or cold. I wouldn't even bother trying to. But that makes it more... Also... Controller sensitivity, can we turn it down one? It is actually quite a bit. That's better. Alright, so, so far, items, smoke bomb, chance to escape from battle. Don't think the restaurant's this way. I like his profile pic in the bottom right. He also has the ponytail rocking right now, which is a nice callback to the beginning of the first game. Instead of having his lion mane now. I'm curious to see what battle looks like in this game, because they probably had to touch up on the... Poseidon power, energy drink that boosts attack and magic. Now I'm giving that to you. But, yeah, um... The combat in Like a Dragon was great, but it had its issues. I'm wondering how much they refined it in this. Uh, and then we got this. Alright, we got Peach Step, buffs evasion and agility. Apple defense, buffs defense and willpower. Oh, this one is the one I want, but I don't think I got much money. No, I got 10,000 yen. I'm not gonna waste it on that. It's a bit early. Something I can help you with, Sasaki-san? Oh. You saw me, huh? <laughs> Should've guessed. Sam, I was busy sightseeing. <laughs> I just wanted to say sorry about before. I wasn't exactly reading the room. Huh? It's about money, right? I thought as much. You might be a savior. Saving people ain't free. Uh, uh, 50 grand ought to do it, right? <laughs> I hit it big at the boat races today. 50k a job, though. Damn good racket you've got there. Can't say I ain't jealous. You've got the wrong idea here. I'm not in this for myself. Huh? Hey, hold up. What's your deal? Uh, what, you want more or something? How much I gotta give you to get a job? The five-year ex-Yakuza clause. That's what's left you high and dry, right? Five years of red-taped hell follow a Yakuza on his way out. You can't open a bank account or even rent some rat hole apartment. A cell phone plan's basically a no-go. You can forget about health insurance. Of course, it's made that much worse by the fact that no one wants to hire someone like that. Yeah, you clearly get it. So help a guy. All the people who were thrown out into the world after the Omi and Tojo dissolved are working their asses off just to get by. You think you can just slip a guy some cash and that's that? Get real, pal. Yeah, man. Things don't work that you way. You gotta work hard. Look, I didn't follow you out here for a lecture. Just take the stupid money, will you? Huh? Hey, cut it out. My money! Oh, what the hell, man? You know, rest now. Just take your money and go. Yeah! Quit acting all high and mighty. When it comes down to it, you're just like me. Oh. The shit ain't fair. The battle is on. Ooh, time for a battle. Alright. We know about commands. Guess there's no choice. Let's cool you out a bit, huh? Let's hear the music. Try me. Ooh, I like the battle theme. Insult to injury. Quickly. Oh, yep. I know that. Oh, elbow dried open. Mad skills. Select skills to unleash a powerful ability in exchange for MP pencil points. Your current MP is displayed in the green gauge at the bottom right. Recover MP with basic attacks or by selecting etc. and using the appropriate item. Skills. Will activate uh, act action prompts for successfully pressing X or Y will increase your damage. Hey, a special skill! How about that? All right, you are. Oh, you don't tell me which button to press now. Open one. Break the door. Ah! 
Ah, perfect guard. Yep, I know this. All right, and now we eat. Oh, I don't have to eat, actually. Goodbye. Win to be proud. Nice. Onto the next level. Ichi, your smile is actually scaring me. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna get the money back for him. Ichi, man, you're just a great guy. Huh? Oh, it reeks in here. Oh, good luck washing out this stink. Oh, shoot, where's that other bill at? Ah, gotcha. What the hell's he doing? He's getting your money back for you. <laughs> oh, that's a uh, use. Yo, take uh. a look. Your money's safe and sound! <laughs> oh, but at what cost? Oh, I think this suit might be a goner. <laughs> um, don't look in your hair. Just, just don't. 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 No. Here. Probably don't want to lose this, right? Hey. Were the rumors even true? A bunch of dudes told me you could hook me up, that you'd give me a job for 50 grand. While it's partly true, I am helping those who left the Yakuza find work. And as for that 50 grand, I did get that from someone about a year ago. Wait, then that means... But it wasn't for the job. I got a phone plan set up for him. He was just paying me back. Uh, phone plan? I got him a job at a pharmaceuticals manufacturer. They were looking for someone to help deal with resellers. Masks, cold medicine, antiseptic. Back when people were hoarding those, it left a lot of others hurting. Whenever crooks like that try to cash in online, it's his job to put in fake bids and shut it all down. There are really jobs like that out there? It's kind of a gray area thing. Still, resellers are a huge thorn in those companies' sides. That's where the fake bids come in. Sort of tricky if you don't have a phone handy, you know? And as you're aware, ex-Yakuza aren't allowed to sign up. So you signed up for him? Yeah. Just to hold him over until he can find a better job. Ah. <sighs> Everyone's gritting their teeth to get through this thing. I got no work to give to someone who waltzes up all cocky and shoves cash in my face. <sighs> It's tough, jumping back on the straight and narrow. I know. I went through all that life has to offer, just like you. I know how hard that shit is. But, if you're prepared to try, to put your head down and crawl your way back up, if you really, truly want that, then I'm right there with you. What do you say? You know, when you were down there gathering up all my money just now, I was sure you were going to steal it. But you didn't. I, uh, uh, well, for the first time in my life, I actually felt pretty, uh, pretty ashamed. It made me realize that I've half assed just about everything I am. Please, please help me. I, I want to start over. I'll do whatever it takes. Okay, it's a deal. But do me a favor and stand up, all right? You're gonna be the one to do it, Sasaki-san. You're gonna put in the work. All I can do is give you a little push. Still, I'll do the best I can. Oh, thank you! Right then. Come on back to Hello Work tomorrow. All right, this here's your stipend. As to how you use it, well, that all depends on you. Right! Article okay, time to eat. Time to reek up a joint. I, uh, I would take a shower for a week if I had one of those things in my hair. Just no. <laughs> uh. Oh, Uber Eats. That's definitely not an ad.
I'm liking this intro. This intro and the music was ooh. Oh. Ooh, that must be my new ringtone I changed. Ooh, that's actually pretty nice. That's how I feel in the morning. Okay. Another day, another chance okay. to make a difference. That is not how I feel in the morning. Never mind. Oh. Chapter one. Doing the best I can. ZXP gals. Nice. Looking sharp. Here's hoping Sas... 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 Sa Holy cow, why can't I say her name? Sasaki. Sasaki actually shows up today. Guess there's only one way to find Oh, Sasaki, the dude, never mind. Guess there's only way to find out. Time to head to work. Why couldn't I say his name? I'm jinxed. Oh, young master. Oh, but I gotta repay my respects first. Arkawa and the young master. I'm taking off now, boss. Young master. Can't believe it's already been three years since they both passed. Oh, it's been three years. So three years between that game and this game. Okay. Tojo and Omi breaking up at the same time. They call it the Great Disillusion nowadays. Crazy they went out during the peak of all that. You know, lately I've been so busy with what's in front of me. Might be good to reflect on how I got here. Um, you know what? Let's reminisce. Yeah, let's do it. I already know what, but I, let's do it. Yeah, I got some time for work. I have two fathers. First, uh, being the man who raised me, Jiro Kazuga. The man, the other, is my Yakuza father, an old boss, Masumi Arakawa. Boss is like a lighthouse to me. No matter the tide, he was always there, guiding me to shore. I want to repay him somehow, even if it's in my own little way. It's why I picked this job. Finding a place for all the other guys left behind the great disillusion was the boss's dying wish. Can't say it's been fulfilled all that well, though. No sweat, though. I'll see it through. Just you watch, boss. And the young master, Masato Arakawa. He was the boss's son, and, well... To me, I guess he was like, I mean, really, we're like brothers, as far as I was concerned. Young Master used whatever dirty tricks he could to move up in the world, but those fell through. Heck, at one point, he was planning to end it all. But I think I talked him out of it. He was ready to start over, to keep living, and even then, someone took that away from him. The bastard who did this, th this guy named Kume, tried to escape. But they eventually caught him. Okay, so they did catch Kume. Good. He still murdered somebody. He got busted for all the other crimes he committed to. And, well, he didn't get a life sentence. He's not going anywhere anytime soon. That's actually kind of good, especially because the ending. Oh, Kume was a monster. young A monster of the young master's own creation. Most people probably tell you he got what was coming to him. I'd rather not see it that way, personally. Even now, I still wonder how things might have gone if he'd survived. If he'd been given that chance. Shoot. I shouldn't bum myself out for work like this. Alright, it's almost time to go. Gotta give it my all at the office today. Alright, that's a nice short little summary of the first game, I guess. Also, why are the, the, the banana? No, no, no. Don't put bananas near there. You're gonna, don't just put them on the table or somewhere not near the window. Oh well, let's go. And immediately going over here because there's some items I want to get rid of. All right, 
inventory. Give me a second. You're gonna have to listen to this for a bit. I... There we go. Beautiful, my mashing. Oh, give me a second. You know, I'm doing this. There we go. Oh. Hmm. Holy cow. Uh. This is what I get for going crazy with the pack I bought. Ah, uh, you know, I'll just hold on to these. I mean, it's not... I, I put all the other things away. The boosters, bone to hold on to those. They're gonna take too long to put all them away. Oh, thank you, lady. Alright. There's a weapon sh Oh, adult magic. The adult item store that we can use their equipment. Ah, you know what, let's just get running. I don't think... Sorry, no playing today, kids. I am gonna give it my, all my job today. Which is not something I say... Oh. Oh. Huh? What the heck was that? Someone got her, get hurt? I should check out where that voice came from. Oh wait, is that a bug? No, it's superior her herb. Cooking ingredient, defeating her all at 10 HP. Okay. Oh, it's her! Hey, how's the life? How... Okay, she fixed herself. She was just walking into the pole. Oh, uh. Huh? Hamago-san? What happened to you? Oh, Ichiban. You're a sight for sore eyes. I almost didn't recognize you there. Cleaned up quite nice since I last saw you. <laughs> well, not much has changed on the inside. Anyway, you fall or something? Yeah, sure did. Was just capping off an all-night bender and, well, my legs gave out. Do yourself a favor and don't get old. What should I say to Hamako-san? I'll lend her a shoulder. You gonna be okay? I don't mind walking you home. Huh? Oh, I'm fine. It's not that bad. I get little bumps like this every day. I'll just walk it off. You sure? Doesn't seem like a little bump to me. What are you imagining? Besides, don't you finally have a job? If I were you, I'd get there on the double. What, and leave you to limp on home? <laughs> I'm not some invalid. I can take care of myself just fine. Now go, run along to work. After all, Steady income isn't something you could take for granted. You know that, right? I know. Just go see a doctor when you can. I will. Thanks for the concern. Personality. Costco's personality is represented by the following traits. Passion, confidence, charisma, kindness, intellect, and style. Refining Kazuka's personalities will earn him many perks, such as increased resistances to enemy skills and status ailments, as well as access to new facilities. Yep. Yep. Uh, they may change depending on your selections, boost them, blah, blah, blah. Yep, yep, yep. I remember maxing them in Like a Dragon. Nice. Oh. Mmm, got me some natural herb. Right, let's get the work. Let's give it our all. And remember, I'm like a dragon, there's a silver chest here. Hello. Oh, wait, let me talk to you. Excuse me. Hello, kazuko son Oh, whoops. Hello, kasugi san Hey there, Kazuka. Hello, kazuko kun Getting the, gotten the hang of things yet? I have, thanks to you. 
You've always been looking out for me, Kozugu-san. Hey. Oh, uh, you helped me out too with all, with, with, what with all the your hard work. It feels like you're ready to fill the shoes of Kambi-san and others left behind. Right. They all got promoted and split off. Kind of sad, honestly, but I guess we'll just have to work even harder. Indeed. We'll do what we can to make sure Hello Work keeps thri uh, thriving. Thanks for all you do, Kazuka-kun. Your honesty and positive energy set high bar. Hey, thank you. I really appreciate all you guys done for me. So that explains why. Because the one late chick uh, voiced by the voice actor from Makoto in Persona 5 worked here. And then the one guy who kept giving us jobs when he shouldn't have. Okay, so it just, they got promoted and went elsewhere. All right, all right. All right, is the ex- All right, then. Good luck with your interview. Is the ex Yakuza going to come in? Next in line, please. Um, my name's Shinya Sasaki. A pleasure to meet you. Wait. Welcome. Take a seat. Did you happen to bring a resume? Yes, sir, I did. That can't be him. That is... Sasaki-san, may I inquire about your criminal record? Mm -hmm. uh, it was theft. Watches and cosmetics and the like. I would steal anything valuable I could get my hands on so long as it was small enough. Uh, I had a buddy who fenced stuff on the black market, so I usually sell it to him. I see. Does that, uh, make things too difficult? Sasaki-san, may I ask you something? Sure. I don't see any record of punishment on here. In that case, why put your criminal history at all? Because I did those things, sir. If I'd hid my record to get a job, I'd only make trouble for the company if it ever got out. I really want to start fresh. I can't go around acting like that never happened. That's a great way to think about it. On that note, don't worry. I have just the job for a man like you. Really? What kind of job? Well, simply put... Shoplifting! What? <laughs> you can't... You what? You're giving a shoplifter the job of shop... Oh... Uber driver type... Th no, the... Okay. I know... Wait, no, I'm confused. Huh? Excuse me, would you be a dear and point me to the mouthwash? Uh, oh, sure. It should be right this way. I am confused. Wait, that woman. Is she following him? Pardon me, but do you think I could see this up close? Sure, one moment. Good eye. This one's a top seller. Isn't it just perfect, honey? It's nice, but it's almost time for the movie. We should take a rain check. Oh no, it's that late. We'll swing by after. No trouble. I hope to see you again soon. I'm confused. <gasps> why are they shoplifting and why is Kazuga putting them up to it? 
We're all done on our end. How'd it go? Got everything you asked for. Plus a couple other big ticket items for Way. a big measure. Oh, gotcha. Damn. Glad I went to the pros for this one. <laughs> Okay, sunglasses, some cosmetics, a wallet, condoms, what else? Long story short, every shop had a ton of blind spots. What with how they were set up. Oh, I course, see what they're doing. Somebody Security. Me, a fake arm routine. Get caught pulling something like that and uh, there's not much you can say. That's why it's common for thieves to uh, work in teams nowadays. Usually that means two roles. A lookout or a decoy, and then the thief. A little division of labor can go a long way. A uh, smaller cut in exchange for safety, huh? Well, it certainly beats jail time. Good work today. I'm heading home. Hey, you as well. Hope I can count on you again. Yeah, thanks for everything. Oh no. This was my first time helping someone steal something, so... I was really nervous. Anyway, I'll see you two later. See ya. So, that's why you were saying you needed a hand. Yeah, the job's much easier for two than it is for one. She made for a pretty great actress, too. I guess listing the job as extra worked out. Better than we could have hoped. But I gotta say, I'm pretty impressed with your performance. You really know your stuff. Although... That last shop you hit up. And from the look of it, they put a lot of money into their security system. The shop itself was fairly small, with cameras in every corner. Not only that, there wasn't much in the way of cover, meaning little to no blind spots. So how'd you swipe a high-end wallet out from under them? Well, sometimes those stores have fake cameras, but I could tell these were the real deal. We were also the only customers, so the shopkeep always had an eye on us. That said, there was a camera above the register, and it was pointed more downwards than the others. Meaning, it wasn't getting a full view of the floor. Maybe they wanted it to focus more on the register, or it was just a mistake during installation. But either way, that right there was our blind spot. No kidding! Well, once I saw that, all I had to do was play the waiting game. Of course, the shopkeep realized what went down the moment we left, but the cameras got nothing on tape. The deed had already been done. You really figured out all that on your first trip and made off with some goods to boot? <laughs> I think I like this guy. I'm just amazed there's a job like this out there, especially considering my past and all. You know, they say 1.2 billion yen worth of merchandise gets stolen every year. Yeah, I'm guessing Adachi's run like a security company, and so basically Ichiban gave this guy to Adachi. And Adachi's having to go around the stores around the town, basically finding blind spots and stealing things. And Adachi's now going to be calling them to enhance their security systems. Okay, that actually works very well for this guy. Now for most retailers, it's a life or death issue that could sink your business just like that. And despite that, a lot of business owners think all they need is a security guard or a few cameras. And that's just not true. All that really does is add a few blind spots you didn't have before. In fact, it could actually make it easier to steal things. Right. That is where we come in. Yep. <laughs> it's our job to sniff out the gaps. As you might have figured, if you'd failed today, that would mean their security systems were all squared away. But, as we can clearly see... Yep. And from here, I'll summarize their security flaws in a report and submit it to their managers. And that should do it for work they hired us for, but for my money, there's a real business opportunity here. Uh, meaning... Meaning now, I can offer them consulting. 
get a contract going, and I can advise them on where to place cameras or even introduce them to reputable security companies. Huh. Makes sense. Actually, once I uh, get this business off the ground, I'm thinking of starting up my own security company. Uh, the goal is to have a firm that can handle everything from investigation to consultation to basic security. Wow. Howdy, fellas. Hey, Kasuga. Well, Adachi-san, how's Sasaki working out? Well, if you ask me, he's a real pro. Already can't afford to lose him. Can I take that to mean he's hired? Yep. Glad to have him. Hmm. That's nice for him. Ah, thank you. I know I have a lot to learn, but I promise I'll work real hard. Hey, hey, hey. Look, your days of bowing like that are over, pal. Oh, sorry. Force of habit. <laughs> we'll make a working class civvy out of you yet. Uh, what's the book? Oh, I found this over at a nearby bookstore. Security industry certification? Right now, all you can do is steal and investigate. But that won't be enough. I was thinking you could study and get yourself certified. That way, you'll be ready to help out when Adachi-san expands his business. Sure, that'd be a big help. Give it a read when you get some time. Uh, Kasuga-san, tell me, what's your goal in all this? Huh? I mean, at this point, it's just weird. You must want something, right? Who goes that far for a stranger? You don't have some ulterior motive. Motive? Well, I, I guess you could say that. This is actually my way of repaying a debt. A debt? And everything I've done is what my patriarch in the Arakawa family was trying to do. It's the job he left behind when he passed on. He wanted to build a safe place for all the ex-Yakuza. Those with nowhere to turn. Carrying out his will is everything to me. More than that. It's my reason to live. Still, I can really only handle a tiny piece of it. <sighs> all in all, I'm just doing whatever I can. For real? <laughs> Man, you are one of a kind. Anyhow, I ought to get going. Do right by Adachi-san here, okay? So soon? Come on, you just got here. Ah, I've still got work to wrap up. All right then. Good luck with everything. Thanks. He's still on the clock? I never knew Hello Work was so busy. Nah, Hello Work's done for the day. This, something a little different. Huh? There are a whole bunch of former Yakuza and Ijincho that Kasuga's helped out, same as you. Once he's done at the office, he typically heads out to check in and see how they're doing. Heart of gold, Ichi. The two biggest Yakuza organizations in Japan, the Omi Alliance and Tojo Clan, were completely dissolved. And that day, no fewer than 30,000 Yakuza were spit back into the real world. A lot of them likely couldn't find work and weren't left with a whole lot of options. Kasuga, he's dead set on rehabilitating every last one of them. Every single one? Is that even possible? Well, not normally, no. But seeing him give his all, well, it makes me feel like even the impossible's possible. It's hard not to help out a guy like that. Yeah, honestly, I think I feel the same. Hmm. That's a nice story about that guy. Now he's going to be working at with Adachi at his firm now. <laughs> Someone texted me. Oh, it's Namba. Remember, we're meeting at Survive tonight. Don't be late. Shoot! So busy with Sasaki. 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 I almost forgot. Thanks, Namba. Bear hustle over to Survive. Holy cow, why there's such issues saying Sasaki? That's a supreme herb right there. 
right, let's not take a taxi. I'm gonna, well, I don't know if I can take a taxi anyway, so let's walk my way to survive. Look at the, oh. <clears throat> oh, please, stop. <laughs> What'd you say? You better speak up if you want to be heard, eh? Uh, what are you looking at? <laughs> See, nobody gives a crap about you. Oh. Hey. Hey. I wouldn't go that far. What? Huh? Who the hell are you? Get away from him. Why the fuck should we listen to you? Because if you don't, I'm gonna send your asses to the moon. <laughs> oh, it's scary. Sounds like that one needs a face punched in. <laughs> With pleasure. Uh, okay. It almost sounds like it wants to be the Chocobo theme from Final Fantasy VII. Just saying. At the beginning, it's like... Ding. While selecting command, you can use the... Oh, I can move? Anything useful around Wait, here? Wait, I can- I can move! Oh, that's actually really nice! A triangle- oh, this is new! A triangular icon will appear when you're near a usable object. Selecting attack will let you pick it up and wield it as a weapon. The effects and damage are dealt- vary from object to object, but they'll either hurt- lay on the hurt, so don't hold back. <laughs> Okay. I like the movie. Okay, I was wondering what the blue circle was before. Getting up close. Select attack and approach an enemy until the target indicator changes and a proximity bonus is displayed. You'll receive a small damage boost when striking from close range. When your back's to the wall, sometimes every advantage counts. Got to get better at guarding. Poetry in motion. Attacks can sometimes launch enemies backwards. They'll take more damage in colliding in the walls or friends. Skills with a knockback quality do this too. Okay. Oh wait, that worked. Oh. Oh, I love it. Just. Oh, they. Yep, they adjusted combat. Oh, yes. Oh, it's great. I love those two. Ugh. Shit, man. We're sorry. Forgive us. I'm not the one you should be apologizing to. Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, sorry. So, what do you think? Uh, just let him go. Better to keep the cops out of it. Well, I guess you guys were lucky. Just know there won't be a second time. Uh, yeah, yes, sir. Hey, you all right? You hurt? No, I'm, I'm fine. Anyway, thanks. It's been a while since someone showed me any kindness. Hey, no sweat. They just piss me off, is all. Haven't seen you around before. You just get in? Uh, yeah, the other day. All right. You know where uh, Tsukame Bridge is? You should try over there. Way better than being alone. Know. I never would have known. I'll make my way over there. Thank you so much, pal. <laughs> hmm? Oh, crap. I'm late. Better hurry to survive. Enemies that wander the city bear an icon representing their power. Coming into contact with them will trigger a fight. Make sure to pay attention to their strengths. Dangerous, strong, fair, weak. Okay. Oh, I can... Okay. There's a taxi right there. Oh, wait. There's also a thing here. Suffocation bomb may inflict silence on a group of enemies and lower their agility. So it looks like they. I like the new additions to the combat, and I have yet. Nope, don't get run over. They, I lose 100 HP probably if I get run over. Alright, 
let's go to survive. But yeah, I like the two new additions to the... So far, the two new additions, probably are gonna be more, the combat. I like that. I like how you can move over in the circle. It reminds me of an RPG that's not coming to my mind at the moment. Okay, look in the window, let's see. We got Adachi, Namba, oh, and then her, nice. There's an item over. Let me get these. Okay, so the screen no longer comes up dark and stops you when you're picking objects up, probably if they're new, like that. Iron fragments. Wait, does that mean... One second. Okay, is that still open? The factory? Also, I'm only going here. I'm actually curious. Is it clothing or armor? Alright, it's... Yeah, you equip it, and... Yeah, you equip it. Alright, so, accessories. I think those are accessories. Or it's just strap armor. Hello? I haven't saved since I started, so let's save it. Yay! Okay. I like how this is starting. It's like, three years later, this is what Kasuga is doing, this is what everyone else is doing, and we're all drinking. <sighs> Damn, that's <sighs> what Hey, Namba. You come here straight from work? Yeah. Uh, I've been on my feet all day, so this is just what the doctor ordered. Bartender! Oh, he's a medical Another equipment round. inspector. Oh, on me. good, he's back in the medical field. <laughs> well, you've certainly moved up in the world. How have you been holding up, Sachan? The club's still running? Running like it's on its last legs. All things considered, though, I guess you could say we'll survive. Well, that's good. One thing's for sure. I won't let everything Nonomiya worked for go to waste. Mm. Someday, it'll be the hottest club in all of Yokohama. You guys are welcome to visit any time, you know. <laughs> sure. Just don't go up charging us, huh? You know that's not how I do business. <laughs> and if it was, you bums couldn't pay up anyway. <laughs> she ain't lying. Beer's here. <laughs> oh, 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 right on time, boss man. <laughs> Tonight, I say we get plastered. <laughs> Just so long as you don't end up on the floor. Yeah. All right, then what's there? We have another toast. Cheers! <laughs> Look at us. In the last game, most of us were jobless, homeless, and all this and that. Now we all have jobs, we got our lives together, we're happy. That's so, nice. So, Zhao said he couldn't make it, huh? Yeah, same with Junki Han. Man, what gives? This is our first time grabbing beers in six months. Oh, they're just looking out for us. They're still part of the underworld, so they can't exactly pal around all the time, you know? It really is a shame, though. Yeah. Either way, Kasuga's is right. We're living in two different worlds that just aren't meant to cross paths. Especially if we want to keep these new lives we built for ourselves. Plus, it's not like we'll never see them again. It's like they say, no news is good news. Yeah. So, how's everyone been holding up? Still keeping at it with Arakawa-san's parting gift? Well, I got a long road ahead, but I'm chipping away. Adachi-san's already helped out a ton. <laughs> You're telling me? Rinky-dink op like mine can't just pull jobs out of thin air. No, really. I'm grateful. Ah, I'm just ribbing you. You're doing great, pal. <laughs> Not that you're any richer for it. <laughs> you never change, do you? Nope. But in a way, that's what makes him cool. Oh, you think? <laughs> hmm. Hey, I'm gonna use the restroom. Uh, the restroom's unlocked, right? Well, how 
are things going with such on, huh? Huh? You two, uh, gone on a date yet? Wait, what? What are you talking about? Uh, that settles it. He hasn't done squat. Ah, uh, you know, I figured you might be too busy to date, but I didn't think it was that bad. <laughs> what a bust. Hey, hold up. What's with you? Kostika, you got a thing for Sunshine, right? I... Uh, well... Um... Like we wouldn't find out. Your face says it all. Don't tell me you didn't notice all that extra space we've been giving you. You what? Well, don't worry about all that. The important thing is, if you're gonna make a move, now's the time, huh? You're both living pretty stable lives at this point. You ought to be able to think about stuff like that now. Y yeah, but... You can make excuses all you want, but that won't help if someone else swoops her up, will it? I'm sure Sachan's got a few deep-pocketed regulars here and there. You might have more competition than you think, huh? Oh, I'm no good with that kind of stuff, though. I wouldn't know where to start. Yeah, the last time he tried to hit on a, a chick, by accident, of course, he flirted with six girls. Then they all beat him to the verge of death. With Sachan included. All right. <laughs> yeah, let's just hope Sasaki doesn't see you like this. But seriously, you should ask her out when we leave here tonight. Something like, you want to hang out together? Just the two of us? That's enough for now. Hey, good thinking, Adachi-san. Guess a veteran knows best. <laughs> what now, Adachi-san? Got some new scheme in the works? <laughs> I might. Oh yeah, Sachan. The other day... Whew. Yep, I'm drunk. You alright, Namba? We're zigzagging. Alright, easy. I'll go with you. I gotta head to the station either way. Uh I'm oh, fine. Honest. Maybe on the inside. All right. We'll see you later. Let's do this again sometime, huh? <laughs> sure thing. <laughs> see you around. You got one life, pal. Aim true, fire away. <laughs> Adachi-san. Come on, Namba. Let's roll. You're gonna have to carry an armor by the looks hey, of it. Hey, slow down. <laughs> you think I'll be all right? <laughs> oh well. Guess I should go too. See you later, Ichiban. <sighs> Do it. You got the Sichi. Uh, such on. Um, nothing. Come on, spit it out. No, I forget I said anything. <sighs> okay. Well, good night. Sachan! <laughs> Ichiban, seriously, what's gotten into you? Sorry. Listen, do you maybe, um, want to hang out sometime? Huh? <laughs> what? You already planning our next get-together? We decided to do the next one at my club, remember? Uh, no, um, not like that. I mean, just us. You know, like, together. Actually, I think you shocked her so much she couldn't say anything. Man, what now? Oh, 
Oh, shit. Hello? Sorry, I, I sort of panicked. I didn't expect that. No, I'm sorry. It was rude of me to spring that on you like that. You know, I'm free next Saturday. Uh, huh? We're gonna hang out, right? Just the two of us? Uh, wait, you mean... I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> anyway, see ya. Good job, Ichi. What's up, John? Yo, good to see you, man. Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> what the hell? Cut it out, will ya? What's up with you two? Hey, buddy! Guess what? I did it! You did I what? I did it! You reek of food! Oh, come on! This is huge, fellas! Don't spoil the party! Come on, dance! Dance! Hallelujah! 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 Just roll with it, man! Just roll! They're recording him. <laughs> Leave the itchy to become an idiot. Megan is drunk. We gotta remember he's drunk. Oh man. But that's gonna be on the internet. Oh no shit! And she really said yes? Good for you. She's a hell of a girl. <laughs> Why do you look so down? Well, it's just... I was locked up from the time I turned 24. I don't have much experience dating. Especially not with a grown woman like Sachon. Oh, are you that nervous? Hey, end of the day, dates come and go. No need to stress out. But what if it all goes to hell and we never recover from it? What if she never wants to see me again? Don't forget it. I'm calling the whole thing off. And she'll definitely hate you if you cancel on her now. What am I supposed to do? Where do we go? What, what do we eat? What do we talk about? I've never thought about this stuff before. <laughs> all right, now take a breath. Leave all that to the experts. <laughs> oh, yeah, we got this. Wait, can you two really help me out here? Sure. Who's got more experience than us? But this is your big chance, after all. We're gonna help you make the most of it. You guys, teach me your ways! I think the one major thing on a first date did not seem like a weirdo is propose. Other than that, um, don't do that and you should be fine. I don't know, I've never been on a date. I'm okay. Ichiban right now. Let's get started then. What is first when it comes to date prep? Easy. Before you do anything else, relax. Dates are nothing but people getting to know each other. It's all just human nature. Act natural. I guess that makes sense. Human nature. What? No, that's not it. Huh? But, um, a woman's not looking to just chew the fat on a date. You want to woo her. Give her a night she'll remember. Forget acting natural. You stay sharp and be the perfect version of yourself. Okay, right. I need to make everything special. Uh, but how do I do that while acting natural, like Namba said? Look, I'm the most experienced here, yeah? Just listen to what I tell you. <laughs> oh, hell no. The only thing a doctor's not more experienced in is paying for it. You little... Exactly how many girls did you take back to the old cardboard box, huh? Oh, so that's how it's gonna be. Uh, guys? Uh, 
What's this room? That's too hard to think in here. Let's hit the town. That'll get Namba and me inspired, yeah? Of course, as to which of us you'll listen to, well, you can make that call. Good idea. I'll show you just how to win a woman's heart. Let's go. Okay. I, uh, I appreciate it. Wait, are they we going out in the town? You guys are going to try and pick up chicks and show Ichi how the right, right way to do it is? If so, it's going to end in tragedy. So, um, what are we doing here? Shh, 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 Kasuga. Class is in session. Uh, what? Lesson one in the art of love. Waiting. Waiting for what? Listen up. The date's begun the moment you reach the meeting spot and assume position. It is vital to arrive ahead of time by an hour, maybe two. And then you wait like a man. Remember, when the girl arrives, she's going to take one look at you and register a full impression. That impression doesn't wash off. It can take years to fix. I get it. First impressions, yeah? Makes sense. I have to admit, he's right. So, show us how you'll wait for Sacha. Okay, sure. Wait, what do you mean? I'll just, you know, stand? No, too stiff. Every fiber of your body looks nervous. You want Sacha to feel at ease. Oh, crap, really? Uh, then, uh, how should I stand? Who said anything about standing? Hey, why don't you park yourself on that bench there? Maybe even doze off a bit. Uh, the what? You want me to fall asleep while I'm waiting? What did I say earlier? Dates should be natural. Now listen, who in the world has seen your sleeping face besides people you trust and have opened up to? Uh, my cellmates, maybe? Forget about all that. The point is for Sachan to think, Wow, Ichi must feel so comfortable with me. Oh, and he looks like a precious puppy when he's shooting. She'll want to protect you. Are you sure about this man? <laughs> what do you think, Adachi-san? Dozing off on a park bench? Yeah, Huge don't mistake. Don't do that. Even I think what do we say before? A girl wants to feel special. That all starts with your posture. How do you make someone feel special with your posture? Remember the rule. 30 minutes early, at least, then you stand silent like a statue. Don't look around, just hold your gaze firmly in the direction she'll be coming from. When Sachan shows up and gets a load of that, she'll be putty in your hands. Ichiban, she'll think. I've never noticed how manly and passionate he seems. Get it? Okay, yeah. Maybe it'd be good to show her that side of me. Whatever. Ichi, you can't do both. Which of our strategies are you going with here? Oh, I have to choose. I hate to say it, Namba, but I'm going with the, the stand pose because <laughs> I don't want to doze off on a bench. <laughs> like, sit and act natural is fine, but stand and pose. You gotta trust Adachi-san. Now stand and wait for her. Huh? Why? Because, well, if I got there and saw Sachan sleeping on a bench, I'd figure she was exhausted. I'd worry the whole time that she's too tired to enjoy the date. Huh. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Yeah. That, my friend, is why you stand firm. You're a proud soldier on your way to win the war. Um, I don't know if that's really how I want to imagine this date, but... I admit, I didn't get just how much my posture would matter. I'll be sure not to look tired or sloppy. Thanks. All right, all right. You take this one, Adachi son. But we're not done yet. Come along. Oh, are we going through the entire date and I have to choose between Adachi and Namba? So, this is going to be interesting. Art of Love, Lesson 2. Location, location, location. Yes, that's exactly what I need. Someplace fancy we can go. Huh? Fancy? Yeah, the date should be special. That's what you said. So, like, a nice Italian or 
French restaurant? Yes, oh, it is. Geez. You guys are kidding me. A fancy restaurant? Oh, Ichiban, it's like you're studying some kind of date manual. Exactly. It's too obvious. You'll make her feel like you're running on autopilot. Kasuga, you need a spot that says you picked it just for her. Someplace just for her, huh? Like what? Hmm, like, uh... Ooh, Indian curry. A curry place? Not just any curry place. That one has a secret menu. You can order a curry there, spice level 100. That's 1.2 million on the Scoville scale. 500 times spicier than Tabasco. 500 times spicier? Yep. Even the most spice-hardened bastards run from those numbers. No one's ever finished a whole bowl. That sounds like a bad now idea, I What'll Sachan think when you conquer that beast right before her eyes? You will not conquer it. I'm not that into spicy food, man. Moron! That makes it even better! Suffer for her. Let her see you wiping the sweat from your brow. It's the struggle that's sexy. How oh, she'll be buddy in your hands. Really? Idiot. What happens when the curry wins? You'll just be a quivering, snotty mess. Ooh, that's true. Listen to what I'm trying to tell you. Act natural. Don't be someone you're not. And don't trip over yourself finding somewhere new. Go somewhere you always go. Well, maybe, but for me, that's mostly just beef bowl places. Well, have some beef bowls. Come on, what? A beef bowl date? You think it's against the law or something? All that matters is that you stay relaxed. And right now, that means beef bowls. It's true, I guess. I would be nervous heading to some Italian or French place. Dumbass! Beef bowls don't win hearts. Show her you're a champ. Spice level 100. Are my only options really beef bowls or the hottest curry on earth? Or you could always just give up. Wallow in indecision, grow old and alone. Make a choice. Uh, seriously? <laughs> Fine. I've got to choose. Okay. Then... I am not choosing a dachi because that sounds like a horrible, horrible idea. Or I'm going to be a sniveling, snot nosed, whiny, whiny Ichi. I'm going for just a casual beat. Then it's the beef bowls, yes. What? Beef bowls on a date? You lose your mind? I know it's not perfect, but I keep thinking of Sajan sitting in silence while I tackle that curry. But she's, you, you know, watching you with pride. She's in awe of your, <laughs> your bravery. Uh, does that sound like Sajan to you? Am I taking her out just to perform for her? Of course you are! It's about impressing her! Maybe, but isn't the whole point of a date to talk with each other? I'd rather do that over dinner than win some food challenge. Well, uh, <laughs> you got it! The lesson behind the lesson. <laughs> Precisely, Ichiban! <laughs> Thanks! Yeah, and, uh, that means beef bowls are out of the question too, right? They might help me relax, but it wouldn't be that special for Sachan. Oh. I guess I've just got to find a spot we'll both like. Uh, yeah, precisely. <laughs> yeah, now you get it. You saw through my trick and realized the true lesson underneath. You know, he's really not that clueless. Oh, you're right. Maybe all he's actually missing is confidence. Gotta say, I, I wasn't sure about this before, but... You guys really do have me feeling readier for this date. So, what's next? <laughs> right, and it's time for the final lesson. Okay, what's the final lesson? Here we are then, the final course in the art of love. <laughs> okay, I think I see what's coming. Give it to me. What's wrong with how I dress? I mean, this suit's natural, isn't it? Uh, far from it, I'm afraid to say. 
highly unnatural. How? Is that a natural fabric color? Remember, we're after human nature here. Try something like this. That's not bad. This is a date outfit? I'd wear that, that stylish. Personally. Nothing's more stylish than au naturel. What's trendier these days than an organic lifestyle? These clothes, they're pure cotton and hemp. Not an ounce of artificial color. An environmentally friendly ensemble. Yeah, it's uh, I get it. That it's appealing. another way of keeping things natural. But Sachan, it, won't it surprise her? I mean, she's never seen me dress this way. Stop worrying. The call of nature affects everyone. Sachan will know on a primal level that this is sexy. Don't you see? It's written in our very souls to love those who love nature. Oh, uh, really though? Look, I get the value of being environmentally conscious, but... Hey, come on, quit humoring this whack job, Kasuga. You're trying to win a girl's heart, not save the whales. Cosplaying as some kind of burlap beatnik isn't about to make Sachan go gaga for you. Okay, Adachi-san, what do you recommend? Aha! Feast your eyes on this masterpiece of sartorial seduction. Yep, we're going with that. Holy shit! You don't think this is a little too flashy? <laughs> Kasuga, why does the firefly illuminate in the darkness? What? It's the male's method of courtship, obviously. Dazzling your beloved, captivating them. It's an instinct every living thing on Earth shares. Obey your instincts, Kasuga. Light up her life, and Sachan will be putty in your hands. Whoa. Oh, when you put it like that, this suit is pretty amazing, isn't it? Yep. Now, don't you want to show up in that instead of Namba's crap bag? Damn, you're right. I've got to choose again. You both made good points. It's all right, Ichiban. Just go with your heart. Okay, I will. I'm wearing this one. Adachi-san, it's yours. I know that human nature is important, but special occasions demand special action, don't they? <laughs> all right. I've said all I have to say. Give it your all. Make it one for the history books. Damn straight. We got you as far as we can get you. Now it's up to you, Kasuga. You two, watch. I'll make you proud. I wonder what kind of disaster this is going to end in. If this date goes well, it's all because of them. Now I'm about to dodge us. Thank you. I should get back home for now. Okay, I'm going to say no. It's because of you, not them. You can view the background of people Kasuga knows by opening the pause menu, going to save settings, and then character profiles. Oh. Alright, why not? Let's do it. Character profile. Ichiban Kasuga. Once a lonely grunt of the Arakawa family, now longed as the hero of Yokohama from wrenching a Jincho out of Masato Arakawa's twisted grasp. Following disbandment of Tojo and Omi Alliance, better known as the Great Disillusion, Ichiban settles down in an abandoned strip club, no less, and takes up a job at Hello Work, where he strives to re, re, and reintegrate every last displ disp displaced Yakuza back into society. Good for him. Adachi, former Kanagawa police detective, now CEO of Adachi Investigation Services, a startup that specializes in security constellation. Previously joined forces with Ichi and the crew to vanquish a great evil threatening in Saratokyo. Hey! Nanba. His full name is Yu Nanba, but everyone just calls him Nanba. Formerly homeless, and before that a nurse, he later joined forces with Ichiban and the crew to vanquish a great evil threatening in Sarah Tokyo. Currently a medical equipment inspector, which is good for him. He's back in the medical field, but he's not a nurse, he's inspecting the equipment. And then Psycho 
Makuda. Makada. Co-owner and mama of Club Silky Queen, in other words, the lady who runs the show, aspires to grow Silky Queen into the number one cabaret club in Yokohama, largely in honor of her late employer, Isao Nonomiya. Previously joined forces at Ichiban and crew to vanquish great evil threatening the snare Tokyo. I love the ending of this. Every time. Okay. So I'm going back home. Can I... I can call a taxi. Alright. Beginning of the game, doubt there's much going on, so I'm just gonna follow the story. Also, I like that load screen of him traveling. You know what? I'm gonna beat you up. Let's do it! Oh, let me hear that music. It sounds like it wants to be Final Fantasy VII Chocobo with theme. Alright. Simple wristwatch. Okay, that's a pawn item. Oh, wait. Don't trigger anything. Of no particular... Okay, pawn shop again. Now, wait, is... I don't know if part-time hero is actually part of this or not. I'm gonna hold on to those plates for now until I'm for sure there's no part-time hero type thing. Oh, wait, where did I grab that from? Oh, okay. I know there's a weapon shop because I got materials for crafting. Alright. Beads. Should I turn in for the day? Yes. Grab busy tomorrow, better hit the hay. Alright. I'm wondering when I should call this. Not much has happened, but I like the way this introduction's done. Oh, the date's going... Man. Not gonna lie, I like that suit. Hey! <laughs> Am I late? No, not at all. Actually, I just got here. <laughs> Look, you don't have to be so nervous. Oh, wow. I can tell you went all out for today, Ichiban. Oh, you mean... The guys helped me pick this out. <laughs> is... is it weird? <laughs> no. I think you look nice. <clears throat> so, where are we off to? Oh, uh, first things first. You got this, Ichi. You're the man. We're terribly sorry. Please come again soon. Oh, they're full too. Man, so much for planning ahead. Oh no, I had a bunch of places picked out. How's every one of them full? Well, it is lunchtime, so I guess it makes sense. Let's try somewhere else. Sorry, those were all the places I had in mind. Oh, really? I guess we should have made reservations ahead of time. Oh, I'm sorry, I should have thought about that. Damn, what am I gonna do? Where the hell are we gonna go now? Oh wait. Oh, hang on. I probably shouldn't be the only one picking here. Uh, Sachan, is there anywhere you want to go? Me? Well, actually, yeah, there is. Smart man. Then, hey, let's try to get a table. Oh, it's uh not a place to eat. Huh? What is it then? What? Do I have to spell it out for you? I mean, you're the one getting all fidgety. What? Is she for real? We've been walking all this time, right? Let's stop by. A hotel? No way, dude. What? I assumed you were feeling the same way. I think but we're making the wrong assumptions here. And stuff. Since when does that matter? Day or night, I could really use it right now. <laughs> Oh, uh, no. Nope. She's looking at something else, man. She's not looking at the hotel. We are taking this out of context real hard. 
Holy crap, Sachan really doesn't lose. Is, is not to lose Kim and Mr. Le oh, rat. What would Namba or Dachi do in a town like this? What would anyone do? Oh, you know what? Be a Dachi and play it cool. Yeah, jumping straight to a hotel ain't exactly wholesome. I gotta keep it cool, but shut this thing down before. Wait. You know, Sachan. Wait, oh no. Hmm. You, uh, no. Do this kind of thing often? Well, I guess. I'm usually always in the mood. And how would you feel if someone you love was doing the same thing? Hmm. Well, I guess it's not something to be proud of. <laughs> right, so a hotel's probably a little fast, huh? Yeah. What? A hotel? Where did you get that idea? Huh? Isn't that one? I meant I could use a cigarette. A cigarette? There's a smoking area a little ways up ahead. See? Oh, 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 oh right. Duh. Yeah, smoking. I, I knew that's what you meant. But sure, let's smoke. Heck, maybe I'll have two. Are you okay, Ichiban? Yep. Oh, Ichi. Ichi, my boy. New York hot dog. Shit. Now things are all awkward, and I still don't have a backup plan. Come on, Ichi, think. I just gotta get the conversation going. What are some things we could both talk about? Really? That's all we're gonna talk about. You know, I wonder what Namba looks like without his glasses. Why? Okay, we're doing it. Oh, well, it's just I realized I've never seen him without him. Hey, you're right. Well, now I'm kind of curious, too. What if he's actually super hot or something? <laughs> Aw, that's kind of mean to Nanchan. Still, he could use a little spiffing up. <laughs> Get his hair done and stuff. Yeah, he sells the homeless hair. I know. We should plan the guy a makeover one of these days. Adachi-san can help out too. <laughs> yeah, that sounds fun. <laughs> hey, plan on it then. Say... Wouldn't you rather spend more time with Nanchan and Adachi-san than be on a date with me? Huh? I mean, you seem like you really perk up whenever you talk about them. Don't screw up, man. Oh, no, I, I didn't... Just something we have in common, is all. <laughs> I'm only kidding. Oh, right. Speaking of those two, I just remember. They were telling me about a place near Jinnai Station that's supposed to be pretty good. You maybe want to go there now? Hey, <laughs> sure. Yeah, let's do it. All right. Take talking about Namba actually paid off. Time to make a comeback. And then give Namba that makeover that we just talked about. We're going to make him hot. Why? Why here? Why? Wait. Of all the places, why Whoa, fancy capital look at restaurant? This counter. Is that real Hinoki Cypress? Is he making a fuss because it's going to be expensive? I don't remember if there's anything in Like a Dragon where it's something that happens here. Sure is. Everything okay, Ichiban? Yeah, I just assumed the place would be a little more casual, seeing as Namba and Adachi suggested it. I doubt those two have ever actually been here. Actually, come to think of it, all they said was that the place had good atmosphere. Great. Thanks a lot, guys. Capo has, like, etiquette and rules and it, shit. Here, God let's damn it, that's too fast for me. Uh, okay. Calm down, Ichi. It's just Capo, not some ritzy French or Italian place. It's Japanese food, right? You eat that all the time. Yeah, let's look at the menu. Oh shit, I can't even read these. <laughs> nope. Alright, I... I think I'm gonna try this. I'll have the Shunkokagyo, please. Oh, miss, that's actually read Harutsugeuo. Oh, really? I I'm sorry. Sachan made a mistake. Oh jeez. <laughs> this is embarrassing. Whoa, and now she's embarrassed? Okay, thank. What's the best thing I can do here? 
You know. I can't just let Sacha just stew in silence. I've got to let her know things are okay. There's no need to be embarrassed, Sachan. Looking at it myself, I doubt many people can read everything on the menu. For one thing, a little pronunciation guide wouldn't hurt. Uh-oh. Oh, no, you don't have to say that. It's our first time here, after all. I couldn't help but hear, sir. You find our menu unsatisfactory? Uh-oh. Uh, no, we're sorry. Everything's just great. Well, actually, he has a point. Uh, huh? What? A lot of first-time customers tend to get discouraged by our menu. We've had trouble keeping regulars as of late. Upon trying to determine the cause, I thought perhaps our emphasis on formality set the bar a little too high. Sure, formal's great and all, but when it starts intimidating you, it kind of loses its luster a bit. You're absolutely right! To that end, we'll be adding pronunciations to the menu as soon as possible. Thank you for being so open oh. and honest. Wow, this worked out. Wow, they're updating the menu thanks to you, Ichiban. You didn't let the fancy atmosphere stop you or anything. <laughs> I'm impressed. Yeah, same. I, am <laughs> I just said what I was thinking. I mean, look at this. They put these two kanji together, but who's ever going to be able to read that? Well, actually, that's just shrimp. What? <laughs> shrimp? Even I could read that. Now you're embarrassing me. Now, now. Allow us to offer some onmitsu for dessert on us as a token of our appreciation. Really? Oh, I love onmitsu. Thank you so much. Definitely could have been smoother there, but Sachan's happy. Oh, Bakumatai's in the background, too. Hmm. Oof. Who knew Capo style was so good? Seriously, that was delicious. I don't know if I would have ever gone there if not for our date. Thank you so much, Ichiban. Oh, really? Hey, I'm just happy you're happy. Uh oh, there's three men walking towards us. Ugh, no way. What's up? See that guy walking toward us right now? You mean those three guys? The one leading him? His name's Tanaka. He used to be a regular of mine. At your cabaret club? Yeah. He's president of an IT venture firm, but money or not, it doesn't make up for how he acts. He would lie to all the other customers saying I was his girl, so I banned him from the club. But even after all that, he'd wait for me at the back door. So I made up my own lie and told him I had a boyfriend. Jeez, that's pretty bad. Yeah, but he doesn't give up. He'd tell me, you're lying, or there's no way you have a boyfriend. And worse, he still hangs out back sometimes. Think he sees through you, or do you just need to be more convincing? <sighs> I'm not sure, but he says he can read people like a book. Anyway, this is perfect. Ichiban, play along, okay? Huh? It's all up to you. Now, act like you're my boyfriend. Boyfriend? Uh, but <laughs> this is so sudden. Huh? Saiko-san, what a coincidence. What are you doing here? What, isn't it obvious? I'm on a date with my boyfriend. Boyfriend? You mean the dressed up caveman? Hey there. My name is Ichiban Kasuga and I'm dating Saiko-san. Jeez, way to be subtle. Do you believe me now that I have a boyfriend? Of course not. Come on, you know I can read people like nobody's business. This poor guy doesn't look even remotely your type. No way, no how. All right, better start acting like her boyfriend. But what kind of guy would be a good match for Sacha? Definitely never crossed my mind before. You know what, let's just be Namba. Sachan typically goes with, uh, yeah. Uh, if she had a boyfriend, he'd probably pre down her dude. All right, just gotta act normal, that's all. So, you're Saiko-san's boyfriend. Okay then, and what do you do for work? Actually, I'm a contract employee at Hello Work. A contract employee? Ha, you're a temp. 
And you think you can land a girl like Psycho Son? <laughs> As if I'd care about that. All right. Let me ask you this, Mr. Boyfriend. Yep. If Psycho Son ends up 10 million yen in debt, are you gonna pull her out? I can pay that off in my sleep. Can you? I don't have that kind of money, so no, I can't. I thought so. You don't have what it takes to protect her. But I can listen to her. I'm sharing her worries. Wherever, whenever, as long as she needs. Isn't that what a boyfriend's supposed to do? Hmm. Ichiban. <laughs> and what the hell does that solve? You'll sit around and stress out. The end. Except it's not the end. It's comforting to have someone worry alongside you. Knowing they care can give you the strength to keep going. It's like how multiplying two negatives gives you a positive. That's the kind of man I'd want. I'm glad Ichiban is my boyfriend. Serious, Sako-san? You're really telling me this scruffy-looking oaf is your boyfriend? You didn't hear me the first time? But... No, 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 no. <laughs> How can I lose to a dumpy guy like him? Yep, you lost. So can you please promise to stop following me around? Sure, I'll promise. Right after I teach you two a lesson. So what? quick the violence. You want to crush my heart? Fine, I'll crush you. Dude, I'm gonna crush your yeah. nuts. Let's beat him down. Oh, she's in the. Oh, she's back. Your allies positioning posi your allies positioning opens up a variety of strategic possibilities like knockback chains. Oh, knockback! Ah, uh, ha ha ha! Allowing them to fall up after an enemy is knocked in their direction, and back attacks against enemies have their attention divert divided. Many of these attacks provide extra damage. Oh, right! Keep moving that way. Nope, didn't work. Uh, I'm not doing auto battler. Get. Um. Oh right, I can move. That is something I have to get used to. Oh yes! Oh yeah! That is great. Prepare for me to just try and plan things. I'll keep forgetting I can move. I'm gonna have to get used to that. What skills do you have? Boundless cheer. So that's not gonna be useful. Cool. Alright. Oh wait, actually. <laughs> yes. Okay. That is awesome. Think I'm getting stronger. Ooh, look at those stat increases. <laughs> On to the next level. Oh, so now instead, okay. So, hmm. All right, so that's how it does in that. Oh, rock swing. Hmm, we have to try that out after. <laughs> Shit. Taking out the trash. That's what I just did. Whoa, what the hell, man? That's right, some trash for the trash. Oh, man. What an asshole. Wow, at the very least. It looks like he's done following you around, Sachan. Thanks, Ichiban. Way to play the part. Your little ad lib at the end was amazing. <laughs> hey, my pleasure. If I could tell her the ad lib was the real thing. Still, deal. that jerk totally ruined your new clothes. I'm so sorry. Ugh, it's all my fault. Nah, they're just clothes. But, uh,. I should probably go freshen up. If it's all right, would you mind waiting a little bit? I'll go change. Okay, I'll be right here. Great, be right back. At least I think she's enjoying the day. Oh. Okay, so now they're gonna do cutscenes, uh, basically a slideshow of their date. Oh, bullseye. Hmm. Well, those two are cute. <laughs> mm. 
the last place he saw the boss alive. Hey, sorry. Couldn't find a vending machine. No worries. Was that green tea? I can go for some. <laughs> you know, I wasn't sure how this was gonna go, but I had fun. Thanks, Ichiban. Oh, uh, sure. Happy it all worked out. <sighs> you okay? So listen, I know I used to be a Yakuza and all, and now that I quit, I'm basically just scraping by every day. I Ichiban, what, what is this all about? I'm not very bright, and I suck at studying too. For real, Captain Sawashiro's been calling me a dumbass since the day we met. But still, I'm working a steady job now, and I take it really seriously. I think I even got a good reputation at the office, too. Physically speaking, I'd say I'm pretty strong. I mean, I'm nothing compared to a guy like Kiryu-san. But I definitely know how to hold my own. I don't drink or smoke too much either. And I can't say I don't gamble, but, well, it's mostly just a hobby, you know? The point is, I don't really have too much to offer. But when it comes to you, I give everything I have just to make you happy! So, uh, let me ask you... <laughs> oh no. Will you... Will you marry me? You know that I said don't ever ask that in your first date. I swear on my honor as a man, no matter what happens, Sachan, I will always be there for you. Listen. I know how hard it is to go it alone, especially as a woman. To run things at the club like you do, all while looking after your dad and sister? That's incredible! But if we're together, you won't have to bear all that on your own anymore. I'll help you look after your dad. And if anything at all happens with Nanoha, I'll be right there. I'm serious. You won't even have to work. You can hang at home and leave the rest to me. And I wouldn't push all the housework on you either. I'll clean, cook, do laundry, shop, whatever you want. And if we have a kid, you can bet I'll raise him right. And then one day, maybe we could all visit Arakawa-san's grave together. I tell him, look at this happy family I've built. You can rest easy up there, cause I'm doing just fine down here. Sacha? Thanks again, Ichiban. Today really was fun. Wait! Uh huh? Hey, hang on a sec! Sacha! Did. Did I say something wrong? Uh, no. No, nothing like that. I just need to get home. Up early tomorrow, you know? <laughs> it's probably the same for you, too, right? Anyway, let's just keep at it. Um, but I... Uh, what's your answer? Proposes on the first date. <laughs> Maybe it's some sort of late bloomer panic. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I mean, uh, I could see you're getting turned off or something, but I doubt Sachan be mad about it. But well, well, no, she wasn't mad. I don't think. She just said she was leaving all of a sudden. Idiot. That means she's mad, possibly fuming, dare I even say seething. Well, that's it then, boys. Game over. Let's put the old dream out to pasture. Hey, 
Hey, quit screwing around and help me out. For real. I got no idea what's what anymore. Ah, so the date itself, that all went fine, right? Yeah. I mean, I was really nervous and awkward at first, but eventually Sachan started having a lot of fun. At least I think she did. You know, now that I think about it, maybe she was already fed up with me at that point. Oh boy, this is where it all starts. The doubt's rolling in. So much for the hero of Yokohama. Look, hang on, this is Sachan we're talking about. If she wasn't feeling it, she would have called it real fast. In that case, you must have said something pretty stupid in that proposal. What all did you say? Give us the spiel, huh? What? Now? It's kind of embarrassing. Look, dumbass, if we don't know exactly what you said, then we can't help you. Now, spit it out. Uh, um... Oh, well, first, I talked about how I'm poor, uh, and how I used to be in the Yakuza. I mentioned I wasn't too smart, but that I was working an honest job. I said I don't drink, smoke, or gamble much. Yeah, that was a good chunk of it. You gotta give him the other half. So far, so good. No red flags or anything just yet. So, then what? Uh, then? Uh. Uh, oh, right. I said I didn't have much going for me, but I swore I'd make her happy. And yeah, after that, I proposed. You're missing a big chunk of it. Uh. Oh, wait. What? what? I don't understand what. That was it. Listen, Ichiban. Sachan might be working her ass off, but she's out there living her dreams. You think a girl like that really needs someone to gallop on in and save the day? Oh! Uh, Look, I know you didn't mean it like that, but if there was ever a way to screw up, that was it. Uh, sounds like we got our culprit. Oh, but just he to be said safe, he'd take care of her. She could say? stay home. Right, right, right. Uh, she wants to be a host. After the, that, host club owner. I said I love that she's so responsible, how, how it's really impressive uh, for a woman to do what she does. Wait, what? You really said, for a woman? <gasps> Was that bad? Stuff like, for a woman, or even though you're a woman, that kind of talk can come up as pretty sexist, even if you're just hanging with us guys. Really? Oh boy. You raised a whole bunch of red flags, huh? Wait until you get to the kids. I've got a bad <laughs> feeling about this. Uh, me too. So, was there anything else? Well, uh, well, I mentioned her dad and sister. She really goes out of her way for them, you know? Because of that, I said I'd take care of the bills and she could just hang out at home. Oh, oh <laughs> that's shit. the one. I'm sure you meant you just wanted her to take it easy. But you don't think Sachan's at the club just for the money, do you? I, I know there's more to it than that. Maybe, but the way you said it might have been misinterpreted to mean otherwise. I get you were panicked, but there had to be a better way to phrase that, right? Oh, man! Oh, what I wouldn't give to go back and do it all over! Well, let's be doubly sure there is not more. Did you say anything else after that? I did. I said that even if Sachan did stay at home, I'd help out with the chores. And that if we ever had a kid, we could all visit the boss's grave together. Uh, <laughs> is that finally it? You didn't add any more fuel to the fire. No, that was the last of it, I think. Well, you sure went out with a bang. So you said you'd help with the chores. Noble, but I doubt it earned any points. That more or less gives the impression you think chores are a woman's job. And depending on the person, talking about having a kid can be pretty shaky territory too. Some couples can't even have kids, so it's not like marriage is all about starting a family. And you topped it off with a planned visit to Arakawa's grave. That almost sounds like you want to marry her just to make the old man proud. Hey, 
Come on. You're saying every single thing I said was wrong? Oh, this sucks. Seriously, what the hell do I do now? <laughs> oh, poor Ichi. Oh, man. Well, might just have to apologize. True. She might be fed up with you and all that, but it's better than saying nothing. Okay. Just gotta make things right. Thanks, you guys. Seriously. Don't sweat it. Hey, if you're ever gonna apologize to her, the sooner, the better. Yeah. Alright. I'll go do it right now. My stomach's still in the mouth, though. No surprise there. You okay? Want us to tag along? Nah, I couldn't ask you to do that. You sure? Well, good luck. Goodbye. Later. Thanks. Okay, I better go apologize. I wonder if Sachan's at work already. I'll swing by the bar. Next time, because holy cow, this has gone on for a while. <laughs> Alright, so far, I'm enjoying the game very, very, very much. But, there's not much I have done except, you know, go on a date, get a guy a job. Like I said, I love how three years after the first game, and we're seeing what Ichi's doing, and all this and that, following through Arakawa's plan for the future. And then the date happened, and then he blew it by proposing. Mm. Even though I'm like, you don't propose on the first date, man. Come on, what are you doing? But next time, we'll apologize to Sachan, see what happens there. I got a feeling she'll easily forgive us. Um, but after that, I have absolutely no idea. But until then, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.